Asanteni sana kwa habari. Today we are in court and uh, we are in court uh, on trumped up charges. The charges that uh, were prescribed by the prosecution team and the charges that came from the presidency. And I want to say that we don't want to waste court's time. We have agreed all the seven accused persons who you are seeing here, we have agreed that we want this case to be concluded within a week. We want to know if you are being imprisoned, to imprison a raka. If you are being acquitted, to be acquitted a raka. We don't want this idea of wasting court's precious time, wasting the court process, wasting the public money on these matters. There are so many issues within the judiciary that should be determined promptly. This is not one of them. So we want this case either be withdrawn very fast, you must conclude it within a week. The witnesses are all there, are all police officers. Kujeni kotini araka, mseme ninini tunikosa. Kama mmepata tukona shida, kufungu ya rakaraka, utaki mchezo. Kama tuko mkipata kuna shida, pia tuachiliwe araka na musituzoe. Hii mambo ya handshake. Hii mambo yenye president ana madarau, anaongea vibaya venye anapenda. If you are a president, behave presidential. Do not behave like any other bystander or like a person in the village. You must behave presidential. Remember, Kenya does not belong to you. You are just but a custodian of Kenyan's interest. You are holding power on behalf of Kenyans. Therefore, you must be presidential, not behaving like a village person. You must respect that office. You may want to worst leaders and worst dictators. My name is Chacha from K24. This appears to be a political case. And now that uh, both sides have come on the table, they want to talk about what has been transpiring in the country. Do you think it's in bad faith that we're still having this court in case? You know, uh, Chacha, this case is very political. And this case, we were all arrested to ensure that we don't attend the mandamano that was scheduled for three days. That was on a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And it is in good faith and spirit that these cases must be dropped. And we are not begging you to drop them. If you don't want to drop them, prosecute them. You think we care. Those jails, those prisons were me are meant for human beings like us. So we will not beg you to drop these cases. You must drop them. All the cases must end within a week. I've seen the prosecutor of chief prosecutor of ICC uh, last uh, week. It was in Kenya, and I've seen a video of you condemning, condemning the this crime. Uh, what do you think he has come to do apart from the invitation from the Kenya University? You know, you cannot give a hyena a proposal to write on how to keep the goats. The hyena will write the proposal on how to eat the goats. The chief prosecutor ICC, Karim Khan, was representing Ruto, or rather provided legal representation to Ruto in the last ICC case. How can he be the same person to come do investigation and prosecute matters, crimes against humanity? That is pure conflict of interest that amounts to what we call professional misconduct. So easy maneno appear. We also know why Karim Khan was made a prosecutor of the ICC. Now let me tell you today. You know when Kenya was still sitting at the Security Council, these people, what I always say, the long con, these people had already planned. Karim Khan was easily made the prosecutor of the ICC during that period 
And the main reason why he was made the prosecutor was to intimidate us that no matter the outcome of the elections, we should know that the person who was representing Ruto at ICC is now the chief prosecutor at ICC and therefore we should be intimidated. Yani mi nasema baba na roho mzuri sana. Hii Kenya ingesha pinduka, my friend. Hii Kenya ingesha chafuka. Sisi wengine wetu tutacheza hii mchezo hii hii ya paka na panya. Baba ako na roho mzuri sana. Waombe tu Mungu baba ako na roho mzuri. Sisi kama jeshi ya baba tuko tayari kukua mbele na tutakuwa intimidated na anybody because we know by the end of the day everybody will die whether you just fall and die you will die whether you are shot you will die whether there are, there is an act of god you will die whether anything happens it is effective you will still die die so mbona unaogopa kifu so sisi hatuwezi waogopa bwana roho yenye tuko nayo si roho ya panya sisi tuko na roho ile roho Wachana na yeye yenyewe mnasema juu ya gari sijui mara nini hakuna bwana waacha tu time itafika ni nini hao watu wamefanya hawezi hata kuja kotini mawakili hawezi communicate nao kwa sababu they can't access them mawakili cannot access them na wanaambiwa tu kila saa tuta, tuta extract information ati kwaeni wa pole tunataka tuongee hakuna kitu ya kuongea bwana waacha kesi isha hapa kwa koti sisi hatutaki upuzi hata hatutaki withdraw hizi kesi zetu. Ujeni kotini within one week mpeane evidence zenu. Hii story ishi. Watu wasizozoeana hii ke. Hii Kenya tutazoeana. Mimi naongea kama babu who was elected by the people of Embakasi East Republic. Na hivyo nitakuwa. Mheshimiwa ni kwa na swali tu la mwisho. Eh pale kwa mtandao watengi wanasema Babu is the next new king B na tachukua kutoka Paraina so pengine walikuwa na utata kwa sababu wanaona ni kama eh, baba anachezwa katika mazungumzo haya kulingana na ile <coughs> kimani chungu alikuwa amesema so pengine tu hisia zako ni zipo hii maneno ya king B na i can't talk about it because baba is my leader Raila Molo Dinga is my boss is my leader you can never ever discuss the succession of your boss when he's alive correct So we will not discuss about that. We will stick by the fact that Baba is my leader, is my boss, and I am not only religiously loyal to him, but also spiritedly and ruthlessly loyal. <laughs>